to get fucking closure. Vance Joseph, you are a terrorist. You're on terrorist watch alerts, alerts around America. You're number one wanted in the state of Colorado. You are the worst DC in the history of the Denver Broncos. You suck. All right, you're fucking trash. Get off my team. Anyway, 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 it's not just him, you know. I streamed this game. I've never been so, I don't know, my reactions weren't good because, you know, none of them were, none of them were anger. I'm just, I was numb the entire game. 70 to 20. I can't believe I'm saying that type of score. 70 to 20. Wow. Wow. That's a that's a WNBA game. That's I guess you. Uh, that's like an Australian football game. If you watch Australian football, there's high scoring. That's not really usually an NFL game. It's not usually a foot like obviously not. This was like a call like a a Division three football team versus a Division one football team. The Dolphins went there and absolutely mutilated us. They came out of the water. And fucking beat us with their fucking dorsal fins so b bad that they had to put all uh, fucking uh, Sea Biscuit down at that spot. This team was, I don't know, it's just terrible. I'm not going over stats. Stats are meaningless. All I can say is Marvin Mims is going to be something in this league, man. I was wrong about him. I just didn't like picking a receiver at that spot, but this guy is our best receiver. Cortland Sun. Jerry, Judy, you guys are worthless. Tim Patrick, you're injury prone. I'm not going to say you help. You weren't bad, like, playing-wise, but Tim Patrick's worthless. Those three guys need to go. The Broncos never go through a proper rebuild. The Bron I don't know what the hell they're going to do in the offseason. We got, what, 14 more games in this fucking torture? And we haven't played the Chiefs yet. We haven't played the Bills yet. We haven't played the Browns, I think. Yeah, we played the Browns, I think, this year. I don't know. We haven't played... This was our first really, really good team. And look what happened. 70-20 to 20 in South Beach. This was a massacre. At least I predicted us scoring 20 points. But I didn't predict us giving up 70 fucking points. 70 fucking points. The offense was never on the field. Because, our deep, because Miami was juicing some clock. Scoring a touchdown. You know... Vic Fangio didn't really have his revenge game. You know, Russ did throw that pick on a batted ball. Again, Russ, he look, he didn't look good, but at the same time, penalties by Brandon Johnson had a terrible game. Corlin Sun, yes, he caught that touchdown, helped my fantasy, but two fumbles. Two fumbles by Corlin Sun. Uh, Mar Marvin Mims was probably the best player. He made that nice catch earlier to, you know, to set up, uh, you know, a potential, like, cutting the lead to, kind of lead to, like, four, you know. But uh, that fucking P.I. by Brandon Johnson pretty much killed the team, killed the drive, killed the energy. If we were to score a touchdown in that drive, maybe it would be a different game because it would be a four-point game. But still, the defense as a whole, playing zones, cover three. Ain't it? We need to change that whole philosophy. Need we need a different type of defense. We need to get younger. We need to get. We don't have any stars in the defense. Zero sacks again. Zero sacks. Same as the, for week one. Zero sacks. Zero turnovers. Great job defense. Seventy fucking points. The offense was never on the field, and when they were, obviously opening drive. Didn't end that well. And the second drive touchdown, second drive field goal, last, and then field goal. But just the defense gave up touchdown after touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. Tua didn't have an incomplete pass to like the middle of the second qu quarter, a middle of the third quarter. I meant only three incompletions. Um, so if that was in Denver, only three, three incompletes. Next week against the Bears is going to be the most ugly football game ever played in the history of mankind. Alright? It's going to be bad. The Ravens are going to be bad. No one's going to want to call that game. They may have to make that, like, I don't know, a Peacock exclusive or something. A buy one, get one free. Because no one's going to want to watch that game. Bears fans and Bronco fans are going to be miserable. 
whoever wins that game is going to walk out the worst team. You know, the Bears hate their head coach. And, like, the Bears have gone through a lot this year. We've gone through. This game killed the season. It was dead last week. Last week we should have won. But, no, it killed it. You know, back-to-back weeks, choking a, choking a 10, a 15-plus point lead. And this week getting blown up by 50. So, I, I think last week was worse. But, yeah, so. Raheem Most, I, I'm not going to go over the stats because usually I do when it's like a normal game. But this wasn't a normal game. This was, it wasn't an eye-opener because I knew, we knew this defense was bad, but not this bad. Every fucking drive, touchdown, 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 touchdown. I can't, I can't point out one player because every single player on the team sucked. I can't point out one player. They all were terrible. Every single player, all eleven, all eleven on defense, all eleven on offense, all, all on special teams. Everyone on special teams. The coaches. The water boys, the doctors, the pilot, all deserve criticism, okay? <laughs> oh, this team, this team, this team makes me want to cry, makes me want to die, because the Denver Broncos suck so much. Thank God September's over, October is going to be a fucking cold and muddy game probably at Soldier Field. It's going to be shit. We win that game, win that game, I'm going to be fucking pissed because we should have won the other f- first two. First two we should have won. They were, first two we really should have won. I don't think that game would have happened if we won those two games at the beginning of the year, but that's if this team's not good. There's no stars on defense. The entire the entire D-line sucks. Our receivers suck. Tight ends suck. Offensive line to mid. Quarterback. You know, I I kind of feel bad for Russell Wilson because he is playing better. He's playing, obviously, not elite, but he's playing what we were expecting from last year. But it's just, I don't know. Hopefully he plays his way into a different team that we can trade him or we'll restructure and he'll be a bridge quarterback for one year. Because Russell Wilson, I think, will be on a different team by the end of 2025 or out of the league or retired because you know it was a failed experiment George Payne needs to be fired um front office needs to be scrapped the entire front office whoever the fuck's in there the owners need to step up and clean house and hire their own guy um this game was pitiful it was worse than the Christmas game because at least the Christmas game we were dead in the water this year it was beginning of the year and just killed it. Killed the entire fucking season. Um, yeah, this defense is just... There's no one good on this defense. Cooper is like... Jonathan Cooper is a good, reliable like backup, but he's not shouldn't be your best edge rusher. The D-line sucks. It, you know, none of them are getting pressure on the quarterback. Tua looked clean as a fucking whistle. Uh, he fucking balled out. Moster and their backup, their backup rushed for two hundred plus yards. They rushed for so many fucking yards. You know, everyone was saying, "Ah, did you? Ah, uh, the uh, the run defense was a good week one." Yeah, Josh Jacobs is not looking good this season, of course. And then Robinson comes fucking rapes us, and then Moster and the backup I can't even remember his name destroyed us. Tyreek Hill destroyed us, and then fucking Mike White threw for a touchdown just to add a cherry on top to hit number 70. Mike McDaniel, a ball boy, old Broncos ball boy, kicked his fucking favorite childhood team's ass. And he's a hell of a coach, so. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, Steel Maiden or Max Yinzer, Sport, Yinzer Max Sports or whatever um, sat in my. Uh, comments for my live. If you're not cheering for the Broncos tomorrow, I don't blame you. I'm not considering it because I'm always going to be a fan of this team. But, you know, this feels like a Triple H booked storyline that we're going through the fucking hardships. But unlike that wrestling, we're never going to get to the fucking top. 
this team's just going to be digging their own fucking grave the rest of the season, and it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I know we're playing the Bears, but I our defense is so bad, I think Justin Fields is going to look fucking like Michael Vick next week. Vance Joseph, Vance Joseph needs to be held accountable. This, the entire defense, the roster, the roster needs to be <laughs> held accountable. You know, it's not just coaching. You can fucking blame coaching all you want. Vance Joseph fucking blows, all right? With the man defense, all right? He blows, but the players that we have suck. I also have Sertan, maybe Cooper. Drew Sanders is a rookie. There's some good players in defense, but overall as a structure, they suck. Gregory sucks. Uh, Frank Clark's hurt two weeks in a row. Oh, great pickup. I thought it was going to be all right. That move? No, he's hurt, obviously. He comes to the Broncos, you get hurt. Doesn't matter who the fucking training staff is. The D line is terrible. Zach Allen's been non existent. I thought he was going to do better. No, he sucks. Um, DJ Jones has been. I don't know if he. I don't think he's been that good this year compared to last year. Just the entire defensive line's underperform. Secondary, Turner yells terrible. Cam Stearns gets hurt. Justin Simmons is one of the worst underrated. I mean, underrated. Overrated safeties in the world. I don't know. We need to get rid of a lot of the players that we drafted a few years ago, man. I don't care. Releases, trades, get some value if you can. If you can fool a team. George Payne needs to go. Front office needs to go. That's all I got to say, guys. This game was terrible. All the Miami Dolphin fans, salute. Uh, you guys fucking ripped a whole big asshole in this team. Uh, it was just painful to watch, but... I still think last week's game was harder to watch because of the you know the collapse uh, that made me you know hard. but this game just made me numb because the first drive from the first drive to the last this team lost the game and firing Vance Joseph not gonna like it's gonna cost them money it's not really gonna do anything you know what are they gonna do put Christian Parker out there with this shitty roster as well a first year DC in week four uh, and the D. And he may call a little bit of a different defense as well, but he has no experience as a DC, but I don't know. At this point, the season's fucking lost. Might as well just fire him right now, rip the Band-Aid off, put Christian Parker. Season's lost anyway. It doesn't mean the defense is going to look better. Might as well have a new fucking face at DC. Vance Joseph, 105 points in two games. Pitiful, feeble, putrid, disgusting. Just everything in between in that fucking English language. So, that's all I gotta say. That was a recap. I didn't say, I didn't go over the game like I usually do because I, I, I can't. I can't. It's gonna be too much words. No one played good. No one played good for the Broncos. I can't say a positive thing outside of Marvin Mims. You know, he had a return touchdown. He made a nice couple catches. He needs to get more receptions than Judy. Judy needs to be benched, redshirted, make up a fucking injury. I don't care. Same with Cortland Sun. Fuck them both. I'm done. I've been done with Cortland Sun. I've been done with Jerry Judy. Those guys are fucking overrated bums. Okay? Cortland Sun peaked in 2019. And then got ACL tear. It happens. He's never recovered. It's been what? Since he tore his ACL. Three years? It's been a long, long enough, man. Players recover from ACL, te ACL tears and still are solid receivers. Solid players. They're not this bad. I don't care about Hackett. I don't care about, I don't care about fucking uh, Pat Shermer. I don't give a shit about the terrible OCs, man. He, they couldn't make plays when they kid. So that's all I gotta say, guys. Um, next week against the Bears is gonna be one of the worst games in football history. Don't tune in. I'm gonna tune in. Maybe fucking stream it because I'm crazy. That's all I gotta say. Peace.